The Copper John is a great nymph fly that is very flashy and sinks like a stone. This fly can resemble many types of bugs, even though it doesn't look identical to any of them. Start by adding a bead to your hook. An easy way to do this is put the bead in your hand and stick the hook through. I am tying this today on an Umpqua U103 hook in size 12, but this can be tied on any 2x long nymph hook and is regularly tied in size 10 to 20. To help this fly sink even better, I am adding 10 to 15 wraps of 0.15 size lead wire to the hook. Pushing it up into the bead helps stabilize the bead. Now start your thread just behind the lead wrap. I am using a fine 8 aught size black thread. Now we will want to remove two barbs from a brown goose biot. Snip the ends and put the two together ensuring that they are even on the tips and bend slightly away from each other, like so. Measure the biot so they're about half a hook shank in length. Now mark that measurement with your fingers and switch hands. Straddle the hook shank with the biots and tie them in on each side. Make sure the biots are wrapped in just behind the lead wrap. Snip the ends if you need. Now, you want to create a taper on the fly. I use a black dubbing to do this in order to save thread and time. But you can just use the thread if you wish. Bring your thread forward to just shy of the lead wrap. Tie in some brassy sized copper wire all the way back to the biots and bring your thread back to the lead wraps. Now, tightly wrap the copper wire up the hook shank, making sure that each wrap is tight up against the last wrap. Bring your bobbin up to the hook for support and helicopter off the wire. Now we will start building the wing casing. Start by adding a single strip of saltwater sized flashaboo and wrap all the way from the start of the lead wrap to the bead. Now, add a thin strip of thin skin in the same manner. The width of this strip will depend on your fly size. Now, tie in a single strand of peacock curl, also in the same manner as the flashaboo, and bring your thread back to behind the bead. Now, palmer your hurl up the hook all the way to the bead and tie off that piece. You can just pinch off the tip of this delicate material. Now, we will prepare a hen feather to use as the legs. Pull back all the fibers except the few on the tip of the feather. Now cut off just the tip of the feather so it creates a fork in the end. Also, clip off the excess so there's just the stem. Now tie this in on top of the peacock curl with two to three loose wraps.
Then pull the thin skin up over the hurl and secure it with another two to three loose wraps. This will allow you to pull the hen feathers back to the size that you want. Now, pull the flash of strand over everything and secure it with some tight wraps. After everything is secure, you can snip off the excess material right at the base of the bead. Don't worry if it's not perfect, the epoxy will hide some of the rough edges. Now, whip finish your fly in a manner that finishes on top of the fly so the epoxy will hold it. Instead of epoxy, I like adding UV curing resin. I'm using a product called Thin Hard by Solares that has an amazing clarity and is easy to use. Just place a small dab on top of the fly. You can move it around to your desired shape with your bodkin. Allow a few seconds for the resin to settle and then cure it with your UV light. As you can see, it only takes a few seconds for this to cure hard. And there we have it, a finished Copper John. While this fly does have a lot of material, you can see that it is not too difficult to tie, especially after you have done it a few times. Hey, thanks for watching! If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe! Leave your questions in the comments section below. Now, go catch some fish!